ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you want custom hair ties like the one I got on right here, make sure you hit me up uh, on Instagram or on Twitter. I, I can get those for you. My man that ordered the Royal one, my first customer, uh, go ahead. You, you know that's going to be in the mail today, so be on the lookout for that. But other than that, let's get right into the video. Now, my boy Eyeball Toxic had put on Twitter, and I think it's gone now, but if it's not, it's going to be on the screen right there. Uh, that the NBA 2K20 attribute point system is going to be a lot like the NBA 2K16 and NBA 2K17 attribute point system where you're going to be able to allot the attribute points the way that you want to. And uh, I like that, but I, it just made me think of something. Does that mean that Road to 99 is going to be over with? Will we, will we, is that going to be dead? And the reason that I'm thinking that is because if you played 2K16 and 2K17, you know that everybody didn't make it to 99, especially 2K16. Some people ended up around 97, 98. Uh, in, in 2K16, when you would do the initial maxing out of your player, some people ended up at 94. Sometimes you ended up at 96, just depending on what your player was, because everybody started off with 25 or so attribute points, and you could put them in any way that you wanted to. Um, and like I said, just depending on what you decided to max out, you would be a 96 or, or 94 or 95, something like that. Uh, in NBA 2K16, if you did not max out the right things, some people wanted to put three-point shooting on, re on inside centers, and uh, if you did that, you would be missing a point here or there, and you could not get to 99. And it just really depended on what builds you made, but some people were not able to get to 99. They maxed out around 97. So with that being the case, I'm gonna show you something here. First off, when I when I start talking about this, you have to understand the reason that NBA 2K is allotting our stats and uh, allocating the points to us in the way that they are. They're doing that so that we can't reach 99 before we are supposed to. Number one, they want to make sure that everybody can reach 99, so they're giving you the stats in a combination that will ensure that you will definitely hit 99, but at the same time, they're giving you the points in a, in a, in a time frame where you can't hit 99 before you go through every one of their levels or, or all the cap breakers and all of that. Otherwise, you have somebody like my boy Jay Fox. He needed one strength point. At 97, if he had gotten that strength point at 97, he would have been a 99. But they gave him things like stuff that he didn't even need, like uh, like post scoring and stamina and speed and all of that. And those things are important. But if I max out ball handling and passing, and then I go max out speed, watch what I get. We only get three points for it. Whereas if I take down ball handling and take down passing, we're getting six points for it. And so, this is what I'm saying. If we're allowed to put these attributes together the way that we want to, Jay Fox would have put in that, put that last, he would have already had the last point in strength, and he may have been a 99 way before anybody else, and he still would have had cap breakers to go through. That's why 2K is doing what they're doing. They don't want you to be able to jump over cap breakers because they know if we put the points in ourselves, we can jump over certain cap breakers. That's why you can't just choose what you want to add. Like certain bills will just be broken at the beginning of the year. And I'm all for it because if you're, if you're going to put money into a game, nobody wants to grind their life away. We want to get the points and be able to put them where we want to. That man last year had a slashing shot creator and he was not able to speed boost or handle the ball with regularity until he was a 97, 96, 97, something like that. Same thing this year, he really couldn't handle the ball the way he wanted to until he hit 96, 97. Could you imagine if he's able to have fun with that bill right off the bat? Just come straight out of the gate and boom, I'm maxed out on my speed, my ball handling, I'm maxed out on everything that, I, that that's actually important to me, and thus I'm able to, uh, to to perform the way that I want to. So looking at how that affects 99, it just makes me wonder, is Road to 99 gone? I would think it would have to be. The only way that it could be is if they're going to allow you to add the points, and then they're going to give you a certain thing that you can add them to, kind of like last year. But that really wouldn't be allowing us to add the points in the way that we want to. Either we can do it or we're not going to be able to. I just don't know which one is going to be. But if they allow us to add the points in the way that we can add them in 2K16 and 2K17, then that means that Road to 99 has to be gone, or at least in its current iteration. It just can't be the same because what if I make a mistake and add the points somewhere where I can't, I don't max out my defense. Now I can't make it to 99 at all. So are they gonna allow us to get to a certain point? Maybe the initial points, we can put them in wherever we want to, and then they'll make the last few points just, just make us get to 99? 
or are they going to choose the points after the initial points counted like last year? I just don't see how they're going to do it, and I just don't see how we can have road to 99 if they're going to allow us to choose the points. And the reason is, like I said, number one, some people are not going to make it to 99 because of the choices that they're going to make aren't going to allow them to make it to 99, or some people are going to make it to 99 before others, and they're still going to have cap breakers. And so either way, I'm not worried about it. Because the road to the first 99 is nothing that I really care about. But some people are really going to care about that. It's just like what they were saying with sharpshooters. Sharpshooters had an easier road to 99. And they started off better than everybody else. But Jay Fox was able to get to a 99 first with a pure lockdown. And then everybody realized how broken they were. And thus, they decided using they started using pure lockdowns. And uh, we got the game that we got now. Anyway, guys, I just want to share this with you. What do you guys think? Are we going to have Road to 99 again? Are we just going to have Legends in the Park, Legend 5 like we had in 2K16, Legend 3 like I like 2K17, or, or what? I have no clue, but I will tell you this. Whatever it is, I'm all for it, but I really want to be able to just choose my own attributes and not have to be under scrutiny of 2K and not have to. Like last year, I couldn't, I couldn't do a reverse dunk that I patented until I was a 92 overall. I should be able to put all my, if I want to, I should be able to put my dunking on on my guy from the beginning and I should be able to do my reverse dunk. And that's just how I should be. I shouldn't have to sit here and grind the game all day because nobody wants to do that. I don't, I got too much work to do. I have videos to put out. I got a real job to go to. Nobody has the time to do that. What if you want to do pro-am? So if you're a pro-am person, you really have to be a my career head until you get your badges and everything done because you're not going to be able to compete in pro-am until you get your guy right. But anyway, man, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Um, I think that it's going to be something that's going to be good, but this is just a potential issue that I see that either they're going to fully commit to it and allow us to create our own players in the way that we want to, and then some people are just not going to be able to get to 99 at all, no matter what, or they're going to halfway do it and allow us to pick attributes up to a certain point and then they're going to fill things in so you can't really mess up your player and all that good stuff either way as long as i can get my primary attributes and the things that i want maxed out first if i can get those maxed out or maybe they'll just let us select a few cap breakers or something like that but if i can get those things maxed out i'm really not concerned about how it's gonna go man anyway i gotta get up out of here hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you think down in the comments until next time it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! Hey man, they be telling me I'm the third Hodge twin, man. So let me tell you something, man. I know a lot of people be getting their feelings hurt about the 2K speculation videos. <laughs> it's not confirmed. It's just, it's just what you think. What the hell do you think speculation is? These are things I took the context clues and I'm putting them together. And if you're looking at it the way that I'm looking at it, you will know that there's no way they can bring back Road to 99 in its current iteration. But that's just speculation. At the end of the day, you can believe whatever the fuck you want.